Hey, what's up, guys? This is me, Mike from Mike's Designs. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make this cool wallpaper. And so, basically, what's so cool about this wallpaper is that what you're seeing is kind of like in perspective. So it's like, uh, kind of, it's like you're in a box, and you got this cool scenery in this box with this nice effect here with the lines. Uh, also, how to make this cool-looking floor right here? It's kind of like a kind of mosaic tile kind of floor thing and also in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a cool reflection like this and also make your cool little bubble so you may you know make a little cool transparent bubble like this and put your name or something in it and you don't have to just do this with a bubble you could do this with shapes uh, you could do this with text so that's what I'm going to show you today in this tutorial I hope you enjoy and by the way this will be also available in HD so if you feel like watching this in high quality uh, just go down to the bottom corner of this video and click in watching high quality alright so I'm gonna open up my Photoshop alright and so I, I like to start off with 1440 by 900 and 300 resolution and color mode is RGB Okay, so once my uh, document loaded up, what I like to do is start off with a, a like a dark gray. So if you click on the foreground icon right there, select on web web colors only, and you might want to select this nice gray right there. Then press OK, and then uh, select your paint bucket tool and just paint right there. Alright, so once you have that, we're going to do another step. Go up to Filter, Add Noise, and leave it at at least 12.5, Uniform, and Monochromatic. Press OK. Okay, so next what you're going to do is go to Filter, uh, um, Filter Gallery. Okay, from there, you're going to want to select Texture, the tab right there, and select Patchwork. Then, increase the square size all the way up to maximum, so that's about 10, and the relief is 0. And then you should get this preview right here of what it looks like. Okay, so after I finish rendering, you get this nice, you know, squares here. Next, what we're going to do is go to Filter. Uh, blur then we're gonna go to motion blur oh I'm sorry not motion blur uh, my mistake I believe it was hmm which was it uh zero okay I got it yeah so go to motion blur make sure your angle is at zero and you can put the distance as much as you want kinda but mine was set to at least 118 but you can you know play around with the settings depending on what you like but yeah so the angle is on zero and distance is 188 pixels so press ok so once you get that nice line background right there it's always best to do this on a separate layer so I'm gonna double click on that and I'm press OK. So to unlock that layer and I'm gonna create a new layer. Now this layer is gonna be for that floor we saw. So this floor, this nice flooring right here, we're gonna make that. Okay, so go into Photoshop and then we're gonna select black this time. So take your paint bucket tool and then paste right on that new layer we made. Go to filter, noise, add noise. Okay, so once you have that, press OK, the same settings, filter, pixelate, color, halftone. No, I'm sorry, don't do color halftone. Uh, yeah, so go back into filter gallery, and we're going to select that same patchwork we did with the same settings. And you should say you should see the same, uh, you should see, well, kind of a different tiling, but pretty cool tiling, so press OK. 
Okay, so once your whole <coughs> layer looks this way, I'm gonna go to edit, free tran I mean transform, and then go to distort. From there, you wanna take these and just push it down just like that from the corner. Not holding shift or anything, and get it and try to get it matched up with the lines on the background. So I'm gonna put it down fairly low kind of match up with what I'm trying to get here okay something like that press enter so once you have that I'm just gonna check here okay so once you have that uh, next you're gonna wanna select your line tool so go right there and select your line tool okay so make sure there's no style selected and go to black so next we're gonna hold shift this time and try to get to the very corner so I'm gonna zoom in here okay so as you can see at the very corner uh, I'm gonna select my line tool I'm trying to get to the very corner and hold shift and go all the way up to the very top of the, the layout the background we made so I'm just gonna zoom out and make sure so it's okay to go over or out of, outside of the document it's better that way so that you can nudge it down if you need to or nudge it up if you need to so do the same for the other corner hold shift and bring that up okay so once you have that select your move tool and then what we're going to do is uh, give it a, new, a nice scenery so what we're going to do now is go to control all that's to open up a new file uh, I'm going to select a nice picture somewhere so let's say uh, okay I'll select this snow leopard and uh, let me check the time here so it's going on seven 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 minutes so if this does uh, go on to another video just check out part two of this video I'll try to squeeze as much as I can in this one but if anything check out part two okay so once you have your background, double click on the background layer and just unlock it. Next, hold the control button on your keyboard and then select the thumbnail of that picture. You should see everything on the, the outer outer pictures um, has a selection over it, right? Press control C on your keyboard. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, control C. And then what we're going to do is minimize this picture and go back into our document that we was working on next we're gonna go press on your keyboard control V that'll paste the whole picture but actually it's a fairly large picture so what I'm gonna do is press control T and just zoom out just a bit or just resize it something like that I'm gonna leave it like that press enter then what I'm gonna do is bring that layer down behind almost everything besides the background layer that we made with the lines and that's another reason why uh, we're gonna bring that you know just behind everything next we're gonna go to select the, the layer 0 we have here go to multiply and as you can see we have those lines here so um, I'm gonna you know end this video right here at this step so as you can see what I covered was the background how to put it in perspective so much and uh, give it a cool background some lines and some flooring uh, so this is me Mike check out part two of this video on how to make cool a cool wallpaper in Photoshop see you guys later